Moving past just 30 miles off Florida, a four-ship Russian flotilla pulled into Havana today, led by a warship and a submarine, both armed with guided missiles and greeted by a 21-gun salute. A flotilla from the Russian Navy's Northern Fleet has begun training for long-range strikes while en route to Cuba, where they will dock in the capital Havana, just 350 kilometers off the coast of the United States. The small naval contingent is comprised of two combat vessels including the Yasin M-class nuclear-powered attack submarine Kazan and the Gorshkov-class frigate Admiral Gorshkov, which represent by far Russia's two most capable ocean-going surface and submarine combatants. The Russian Defense Ministry reported that the ships delivered simulated long-range strikes against enemy naval targets located over 600 kilometers away with this following prior excesses by the Admiral Gorshkov simulating countering an air raid using its guns and anti-aircraft systems. The deployment of the ships to Cuba has been widely interpreted as one of many responses to escalating U.S. military support for Ukraine, including provision of longer-ranged missiles and permitting them to be used against targets deep inside Russia, as well as providing personnel and targeting data by aircraft and satellite to facilitate attacks. Yasin N-class submarines and Gorshkov-class frigates notably deploy the same four classes of cruise missile as their primary armaments, namely the new hypersonic Zircon, the P-800 anti-ship missile, 3M54 caliber anti-ship missile and the 3M14 caliber anti-surface missile. Both ship classes have reportedly been prioritized for deliveries of Zircon missiles since the class began deliveries to the Navy in 2019, with the new weapon widely considered by far the world's most formidable cruise missile with a Mach 9 speed and a 1,000-kilometer range. Deployed from near Cuba, the missiles would allow for strikes on targets across much of Florida and beyond. The first launch of the Zircon from a Yasin-class ship was carried out in October 2021, following the first launch from a Gorshkov-class frigate in February 2020. The Russian Navy notably fields just three Gorshkov-class frigates and four Yasin M-class attack submarines, with five more of the former and four of the latter currently under construction. As one ship of each class has approached the United States, the U.S. Navy has deployed two destroyers and two support ships with sonar equipment to shadow them potentially gathering valuable data regarding their means of operational and the Yasin M-class stealth capabilities. The frigate Admiral Gorshkov, although much smaller than destroyers of larger navies such as China and the United States, has thus emerged as Russia's prime ocean-going surface combatant. In contrast to the surface fleet, the Russian submarine fleet has received very significant continued investment, meaning new generations of nuclear-powered ballistic missile and attack submarines are still capable of deploying across the world's oceans and are genuinely competitive in terms of performance within their most capable counterparts abroad. The Yasin M-class, as Russia's most capable type of attack submarine, epitomizes this.
Four Yasin M-class attack submarines have been commissioned into service in the Russian Navy since mid-2021, two each in the Northern and Pacific fleets, with four more under construction. When the first ship of the class was launched in December 2019 it was dubbed the world's deadliest submarine ever by the American paper The National Interest, reflecting broader concerns that the class could shift the balance of power in the open ocean significantly in Russia's favor. The warships can deploy all existing classes of Russian cruise missile with vertical launch cells accommodating up to 32 missiles, while also carrying 10 torpedo tubes and an IGLA-M short-ranged surface-to-air missile system. The ships are considered likely to have been prioritized to receive the world's first hypersonic cruise missile, the Zircon which was first delivered to the Russian Navy in 2019, with the first launch of the Zircon from a Yasin-class ship having been carried out in October 2021. With a 1,000-kilometer range and Mach 9 speed, the missiles are considered extremely challenging to intercept. The capabilities of Yasin M-class submarines have been highlighted with considerable concern by U.S. officials in the past, with head of U.S. Northern Command and the U.S. Canadian North American Aerospace Defense Command Air Force General Glenn Van Herc having described the ships as close competitors to the U.S. Navy's top attack submarines in terms of their quietness. He stressed at the time that the expansion of the fleet would present a new and unprecedented threat to the U.S. mainland, with their ability to launch cruise missile strikes across American territory, before disappearing into the ocean being particularly difficult to defend against. Where during the Cold War the United States had to contend only with the Soviet Navy's nuclear-powered submarine fleet, these capabilities have since proliferated with Russia leasing such ships to India, while China has developed its own highly sophisticated class the Type 093, and North Korea has been developing such a ship for over a decade. 